from Sins Trains here, and welcome back to Workbench Wednesday. Let's see what I got on the workbench. So today we have some post-war stuff on the workbench. This is a Lionel uh, Santa Fe NW2 switcher, number 622, and I have it on my workbench today uh, to start the beginning of the restoration slash upgrade. I've completely disassembled it down to all the different components of the engine so that I can clean each one and make it look good and run a lot better. Uh, to start out, I'm going to be cleaning all the parts and of course getting the motor running well. Uh, the E-Unit, however, I'm going to be ditching and I'm also going to be ditching these old light bulbs, which <laughs> this one has some blue paint on it, but yeah, I'm going to be ditching the old uh, E-Unit and light bulb setup and I'm going to be uh, removing the bell mechanism as uh, the upgrades that we're going to be installing on this uh, get in the way of this and the customer and I decided this is kind of annoying so we're going to remove it but I will not uh, totally get rid of it I will include it with uh, the box I send back to him so if he ever wants to reinstall it he can uh, but we'll, what we're going to be doing is of course in this video just cleaning it all uh, this engine is really dirty uh, if you can see on the shell there's all this um, uh, white dirt and residue uh, the front is covered in dirt, and then of course the, this chassis is dirty as well. Uh, it might be hard to see, but it's just all white and dirty, and there's just dirt everywhere. So we're going to be cleaning all of this and making it look like new. I'm going to take all of this up to a sink in my house and use some warm, soapy water to get all this dirt off, and just clean it. I don't want to remove paint. I don't want to damage anything. I just want to get rid of the dirt, and I'm going to be using a very soft toothbrush. I uh, had a, a soft brush and my hand in general just to remove uh, dirt from everything and make it look like it was brand new. So with 
the cab all cleaned, the frame cleaned, and all these other uh, frame parts cleaned as well. Uh, I've cleaned it as much as I can. Uh, there's still some areas where there's some patina and dirt and just stuff I can't get off because the train is extremely old. The 622 was made during the post-war era, so uh, it's over 50 years old. And that's just going to be what it is. You can't change the fact that it's this old and that some of the dirt has just ground itself into the shell. And I don't want to dis... I don't want to hurt the shell at all. There's ways that you could remove it, but I don't want to completely remove paint or decals or any of that. I just want to make it look presentable and something that someone can run on their layout and feel good about. So that's what um, I'm doing uh, with this. And with all of the parts cleaned, there is one uh, last part that I do have to clean before we can start assembling this, and that is the motor. Uh, this motor still needs to be cleaned, uh, it has a ton of old grease on it, and it just needs to be refurbished, so let's go take right. a look at that. Looking at the inside of the brush plate, there's just normal buildup of uh, the excess material and uh, oil and grease from the, br grease from the brushes. And uh, the commutator uh, is dirty. Uh, not too much dirt down in the grooves in between each one, but it's still dirty, so I'm going to take my bottle of isopropyl alcohol and uh, some q-tips and going to clean the different components starting out with the commutator And uh, that looks good, and I'll also clean the different surfaces just around the motor with some of the leftover alcohol I have on this Q-tip, just so the motor looks nice and clean and there's no um, no dirt anywhere. You just want it to look all clean and nice and presentable. And then I'll take uh, a new Q-tip, because that one's uh, dirty, and I will clean the uh, brush plate. Clean all the different surfaces. Clean all the plastic surfaces first, just to get all the dirt that may be uh, sitting on here off. Clean this bushing a little, or that bushing a little that the uh, shaft goes through, and then I'll take the Q-tip and stick it in where the uh, brushes sit, because there'll be a lot of dirt up in there. And just make sure everything's nice and clean. I can flip it over and stick it in on this end and also make sure to clean it. And I'll clean the top of the brush plate as well with some of this alcohol. I just try to make it so the motor is nice and clean, it's presentable, and of course it'll work. You, you want your motor to work. If it's, if it's not going to work, well then you haven't cleaned it enough. And that's, uh, that's this uh, clean pretty well. And now I'll move on to these brushes. Um... I'm going to just take some alcohol and take the end of the brush and just wipe it off. These brushes look pretty flat to me. They don't look all worn at an angle or anything. So I'm just going to clean the ends of them off with some alcohol here and clean all the... Whoops. <laughs> they pop out of my hand. It uh, <laughs> uh, They're kind of slippery when they have the alcohol on them, so they just popped out of my hand. But I'll grab that in a second and... Doing the same thing to this one. I just clean all the different surfaces and it looks to me like this one's been stained almost in spots so that's not going to come off but overall it uh, it's nice and clean now. So that about wraps it up for this uh, episode of Workbench Wednesday. In this video I was just going to clean everything on the uh, engine and get the motor all restored. In the next video on this NW2 switcher. I'm going to be installing new electronics, uh, TMCC, and LED lighting. Uh, no sound. It's just going to be a basic command control engine with some lighting. And I think it's going to be very cool, so stay tuned for that. And that's all I got for today's video. As always, like, 
subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Comment below and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.